Hi, my name is Brian Gautier. I'm a research geologist with the Arizona Geological Survey and uh, we're representing a couple of new reports that came out as part of a project called West Carb. And these reports are designed to evaluate uh, deep sedimentary basins in southern Arizona in the Basin Range province. And the great thing about these reports is that they evaluate existing data about uh, the wells that have penetrated the basin fill. And the purpose of this report is to evaluate the potential to store liquid CO2 in these deep sedimentary basins below 800 meters depth. And a part of this evaluation requires us to identify not only the wells that exist in the basin, but also any deep salinity records that uh, tell us where salinity reaches at least 10,000 parts per million of total dissolved solids. So the West Carb report consists of really a review of the existing geologic data and the salinity data, but also tabulates this data into these well tables that are valuable for any other variety of geologic research. And one of the, uh, the West Carb report also covers is a section uh, regarding to cross sections about these deep basins where we'll, we'll do a variety of cross sections across the basin. Uh, which allow us to actually simplify the structural and stratigraphic relationships in the basin. So, in southern Arizona, in the Basin Range province, there are about 10 basins out of 88 basins that were identified as potential targets to sequester or store liquid CO2. And these basins include the Safford Basin, Wilcox, uh, Yuma, Mohawk, Mesquite Basin, uh, Luke, Higley, Picacho, and Avra Basins are um, uh, 10 of these basins that are part of the West Carp research 